Hello, thanks for signing up and welcome to vidIQ, where we're passionate about helping you get more video views. And this is how we do it. Once you sign up to vidIQ, make sure you go to the Chrome App Store and download both the vidIQ for Chrome and the vidIQ Vision for YouTube Chrome extension. That will pop a little button into your browser bar, which means you're ready to roll. Once you install the vidIQ extension onto your Chrome browser, you'll start to notice some interesting things. Let's start with a standard video page. The right portion of the screen displays the vidIQ scorecard. This is a snapshot breakdown of how well the video is performing based on all sorts of data such as views per hour, likes, engagement, estimated earnings and so on. Underneath that is a list of all the tags this particular video is using and how well they rank on top searches. It's a great way of finding out what tags you can use on your videos. You'll also want to start clicking on the vidIQ buttons that will be dotted around YouTube screens. These provide you with helpful tools, and more on them a little later. Back on the vidIQ scorecard, you'll find different tabs that drill down into your data, showing you graphs, pie charts, and the ability to export the data, as well as social media trackers that show you who's sharing this video and where. vidIQ can put every single video on YouTube under this microscope, but it can also offer interesting insights into millions of videos on a single page. If you search for a term on YouTube, vidIQ will again park itself on the right side of the screen where you can see just how popular that search term is. Not only that, but it will tell you how competitive the word is and if it's a good word to use and it will offer you alternative search terms and the volume of those search terms. And the best news is vidIQ can help you apply these tags and terms to your videos on an individual or bulk scale. You'll find these controls, along with many others, in the Video Manager screen, thanks to those vidIQ buttons we mentioned earlier. The top button allows you to edit video titles, descriptions, cards and annotations on a mass scale. Pressing the vidIQ button against each individual video will allow you to perform special tasks, such as setting the video to your feature video, or copying the annotations to be used on another video, or creating your own thumbnail. You can even publish videos to Facebook through the archiving and syndication facility if you decide to upgrade your vidIQ account. While that should get all your existing videos shipshape, vidIQ also provides plenty of tools for new uploads too. Even the finest details are covered, such as the character counting limits for titles, descriptions and tags. And don't forget the keyword inspector. Clicking on tags will provide SEO analysis to help you decide which words and phrases are worth using, and then apply them directly to your video. vidIQ also recognises that video thumbnails are hugely important which is why a comprehensive thumbnail generator is included to sell your video to its maximum potential. Now, when you're not on YouTube, the vidIQ Chrome extension button becomes your home away from home. Not only does it include all the important links to your YouTube pages, it is your gateway to vidIQ's own web applications. Here you will find yet more analytical tools to help you YouTube more effectively. These include data on your playlist, external URLs that link to your videos, and even the best times to post new videos based on subscriber activity. Further tabs can be accessed from the top of a web page that show you detailed information on individual videos, your subscribers' activities, and so much more. And to finish off, we have vidIQ's latest development, Bulk SEO, which analyzes your videos and suggests more tags for you to add, which you can do with a single mouse click. Now, we know this is a lot to take in, and believe it or not, we've got loads more awesome stuff we're excited to show you. So just take it easy, explore the screens, get comfortable with the tools, and start making vidIQ work for you.